Hi, I'm Shia Holland. I'm from Thomas Jefferson. And this poem is entitled Sinking Ships. Mom, you say you wouldn't love me if I were gay, as if the choice of who I kiss can undo 16 years we've been at sea. It can't, I promise you. You say you wouldn't accept me if I were into the same sex, if I like to buy flowers for girls in red, or if I like to hold hands with boys instead. It shouldn't matter. Mothers are supposed to support their children no matter who they are, no matter who they love, just like captains stay with the ship whether it's sinking or not. I will love who I choose and you can stand with me or against me. I will not suffocate for someone who taught me how to breathe. If you choose to sink my ship with your cannon-like Bibles because I will not love just boys and I will not hug just boys, it's okay. Your love should not be determined by the fact that I love a boy or girl or both or neither. It should be determined by the fact that I am your daughter, that I have forgiven you for every mistake that you have made, for all the times you are too busy drowning yourself in alcohol to realize that I had fallen overboard again, and for every t all the times you and your first officer discussed plans that included throwing me out with the anchors every time you say you love me. I lose a little more strength. The waves pull me under. I know the anchor will always hit the sea floor. I'm drowning out here, Mom! Listen! I know that this will hurt you too. That you'd be losing the little girl you thought I was. Believe me, I wanted to be her. I tried to be her. I can't be her. I'm not a fish. I need air in my lungs and dirt under my feet. I need the kind of stability I can never find on your rocky ships. I wanted to stay your crew member forever because I knew it would be the only way I could love myself under your turf. I still talk to God. I talk to him every night, praying for the strength to tell you what I've been hiding in my closet for so long. Buried under treasure maps is the one secret I just can't tell you. I hope that I would have told you before you hear this, before my air has run out, before my body washes upon the shore of some foreign land while I'll be loved and accepted. I love you, Mom. I love you more. I'll always love you. But if you choose to take away your buoy of love because I love a girl, then fine. I have people who would jump ship to save me from stormy waters if I needed them. I know that love never gives up. Love never loses faith. And I know this because I read it in the book you live your life by. Maybe you need to read it again.